back at it here at Shamrock Fighting Championships. Some great action so far, Adam, and we still have more action to come as Matt Tribaletti, he'll be taking on Dylan Hatley. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Dylan Hatley. Coming to us by way of Tilden, Illinois, and sporting a three and two record in the world of mixed martial arts, it is Dylan Hatley. Now he started his MMA career all the way back in 2016. His first fight was at Shamrock FC 277. Been around the game a while. Yeah, he's a true veteran at this stage of the game. He's on a two fight losing streak coming into this. He says, I've got to change it. I've been in the gym, much more going on. You almost get the feel though of desperation when you're down a couple of fights. You know, everybody bounces back different, right? Again, fighting is so much of a mental sport. We we'll always have to see how, you know, those losses have taken their toll. Is it one of those things that's just eating away in your way and you obsess over it in a negative way? Or do you allow it to motivate you and perform better? A standout formal wrestler. He told me that he wins in all areas of this fight, but he has a very tough test to him tonight in Matt Tribaletti. All of his fights, though, have went the distance. He's great if he can take them into deep water. And his opponent, Matt Tribaletti. Coming to the cage by way of Wichita, Kansas. Now, this is an adverse here. Matt Tribaletti, 3-0 in the world of mixed martial arts. He feels that every time now he steps in, he's got a bit of a target on his back. Everybody's looking to take that O. He said that this one was really about the cardio and the stand-up. He says, my wrestling is great. BJJ purple belt. Really, and that means a lot. Purple belt means you put a lot of time in the gym. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's been, it's, it's a famous quote by Joe Rowe. If you're a purple belt, you're basically a black belt already. It's kind of have to refine it, and, and that's true in a lot of ways. So he's going to take that confidence and see if he's able to impose his will. As we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape, Matt Tribaletti, 26 years old, 5'9", 182 pounds. Dylan Hatley, 27 years old, 6' tall, 187.4 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is brought to you by TGS, your local Kansas City IT guys. TGS will help your business find the right managed IT solutions. This contest is a mixed martial arts bout and is scheduled for three rounds in the Shamrock FC middleweight division. Introducing first on my right, fighting tonight out of the blue corner, a fighter that stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 186.2 pounds. Fighting out of Tinden, Illinois, Dylan Hatley. Across the cage, his opponent tonight fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighed in at an even 182 pounds. Fighting out of Wichita, Kansas, Matt Tribaletti. <laughs> Referee Mike Anglin has a call for this fight. Tribaletti in the red tape. Hatley in the blue, immediately goes in for the takedown. Yeah, yo, Hatley didn't really even set that up. Dylan just kind of ran at him. Yeah, kind of just dove straight for the takedown. You definitely have Big to body up. drop. A little lat drop there, that was nice. Again, I think you can just probably expect out of Dylan right now to, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, out of Dylan just push and push and push for that takedown. It seems Big to be shots his, there out of Tribaletti. Yeah, it seems to be his, his game plan here. Matt's going to want to you know, get some distance if he can, but it's really tough when you're dealing with that pressure of a wrestler. And both of these guys have very good wrestling. Yeah. And so you would think it almost would negate each other, but now we see here a lot of pressure coming out of Tribaletti. Yeah, you know, sometimes when you have two good wrestlers, it'll negate, and then you'll just see a striking war, or it can just be a, a really tough grappling match. Nice takedown out of Tribaletti. Beautiful Lands takedown. into side control. 
Nice little trip there as he, as he pulled Dylan off the cage. Landed right into side control. Look for Matt to, to advance his position and move into, into mount. Steps right over into mount and he has a lot of time. He has two minutes here. Big shots. This is not a great spot for Dylan. You don't want to be flat on your belly. It's At very all. hard to get your base back. Mike England right on top of it. Hatley has got to do something here. Yeah, look for Matt just to keep landing shots. You know, and, and that's it. That was all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy, when you get flattened out, it's almost impossible to get your base back. You know, it can be done, but it's very, very tough. And then, you know, that many unanswered shots, the ref has to step in and stop it. You have to be able to defend yourself. And if you're just covering up flat on your belly, you can't really intelligibly defend yourself. Intelligently defend yourself. As we take a look here at our instant replay, gets him flattened down, starts dropping those bombs. And as you said, when really you get that hip pressure in and you can't move, there's not a lot you can do in this situation. Yeah, it's, it's tough. When you get in that particular scenario in a fight and the, and the punches are coming and you're already flat, it's just very tough to regain, you know, regain that base. You almost have to turn to your back and then you're in mount again. So it's a tough spot to be in. A beautiful fight for Matt Tremoletti to extend that win streak. Let's send this one up to the cage to Joe Parisi to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, for your official decision, referee Mike Hickwood has called a stop to the action at one minute, 25 seconds of round number one, declaring your winner by TKO due to strikes, Matt Tremoletti! A big win for Matt Tribaletti here in the Shamrock FC cage.